Hi, this is Tom Soane, and I've got a coronavirus update about gas safety, and that includes repairs, maintenance, and also your gas safety certificate too. This has come directly from Gas Safe, so hopefully this helps clear up any grey areas about what you've got to do, how you can access the property, and so on and so on. So, first of all, remember this, the gas safety at your property is still a legal requirement and it's essential. Gas safety engineers are also essential workers or key workers, whatever we're calling them at the moment. Now that means that you still have the same legal requirement to carry out repairs, maintenance, and get your gas safety certificate done on your pipe work, your flues, and your appliances at the property. However, the government will now let you renew your gas safety certificate up to two months before the date of expiry. Why? Well, first of all, the gas safety engineers are going to start to become more scarce as they start showing symptoms. They come into contact with people that are infected. They get infected themselves and self-isolation, all of those things. That means there's going to be less engineers that can carry out the work. It also means that you can book that well in advance of the expiry. So if, you're in, if your gas safety certificate is due any time in the next few months, start steps now to get it booked in, because otherwise you're going to find yourself running out of engineers, running out of time really quickly. Now, for some reason, if you cannot get into that property, or you, sorry, your engineer cannot get into that property, maybe the tenant is vulnerable, high risk, or they're refusing access for whatever reason they need to give, then you need to record that communication between you and the tenant or the engineer and the tenant so that later you can show that you took reasonable steps to try and get your gas safety certificate done. Trust me, you will need to prove that and you will need to show that you've taken the right steps to get that engineer in. It's also worth recording the communication, if any, between the engineer and the tenant too. So remember that you've got two months, right? You can book your gas safety certificate two months early. Also remember that the next expiry date will not change. That will still be the anniversary of the original expiry date. All right. So just because you do it early doesn't mean that you then have to change the expiry date next time either. Right. So remember that. And also remember, please try and keep evidence that you've tried to get this booked in if you're unable to do so. A quick point for gas safety engineers. If there's any gas safety engineers out there looking, then uh, you apparently you you will have the choice of doing your own risk assessment as well. And you should also prioritise the high risk cases. So I'm led to believe. But also you've got to follow certain things like staying two metres away um, taking necessary equipment like gloves and masks and all of those sorts of things. Um, but if if the tenant is self-isolating themselves or they're showing symptoms or they've been in contact with someone who's infected, apparently you get to make the choice of whether you do that work or not. Um, so hopefully there's some really good engineers out there that, that are still uh, carrying out this work on behalf of people that need it done. And if there's any tenants watching this, try, 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 please help your landlords out as much as they can, because they're still legally required to do this. And if you can help the engineer in any way, maybe you can uh, distance yourself from the engineer um, and so on. All of those things that you can do. Now, there is a gas safety advice line. So get your pen. And I'm about to tell you what that that number is. But that gas, gas safety advice line is for anybody who needs advice on what they can do. Tenants, landlords, engineers, anybody. You ready? You got your pen? So the number is 0800 300 363. Call that line if you've got any questions about gas safety, tenants, landlords, engineers, anybody. Just give me a shout. I'll try and help as best I can too. You can get, you can contact me in the normal ways at Pink Street, um, either Tom at PinkStreet.co.uk, um, or do you know what? Drop me a message through Facebook if you need to. Um, so remember this: the number of engineers is going to start dropping, or the number of engineers available is going to start dropping. So this might start getting busy very quickly as more and more people get infected. So book your inspection now. I hope that helps. If you need any more advice, give us a give us a call or give us a, a message or an email. 
please share this round as well. This is vital information for everybody. I'll keep trying to update everybody as and when I get information myself and drop any comments below that you think might help others too. Let's all try and stick together. We're all landlords and hopefully there's some letting agents here too, but uh, we all just need to stick together and make sure we're all keeping each other compliant legal through this weird, weird time. Anyway, hope that helps. Speak to you all soon.